Welcome back my friends, sorry it's been so long. Well, as you see with all the chaos in the world, with the protesting, the looting, and the pandemic, don't forget the pandemic, the McCanns are still trying to make themselves relevant in this day and age. New information's come, down, come out regarding Madeline. Um, let's have a look at this. More details are emerging of the new suspect in the Madeleine McCann case, who, according to German media, is now being investigated over the disappearance of a five-year-old girl in Germany. It's reported the suspect is being named as Christian B, a 43-year-old man who's believed to have been in the same area of southern Portugal, where three-year-old Madeleine went missing while on holiday in 2007. Our correspondent, Gavin Lee, has more details. This is Christian B, the man suspected of the murder of Madeleine McCann. She disappeared in 2007. Ten years later, German police received a tip-off from a friend of the suspect. In a bar in Germany, Christian made comments that made them think he could be involved in Madeleine's disappearance. Here in Praia de Luz, we're told Portuguese police have been making house-to-house -house inquiries since then. Candido Furtado works close to one of the properties that was used by the suspect. I think I've seen this man. At some point, I saw him. Not here, but in the town. He also said that police searched for Madeline's body around this land in 2014 and several times after that. They searched over here. There was a ditch there and up over that side too. It was extensive and all over the place. Two years before Madeline McCann went missing from this hotel apartment, a woman was raped in Praia de Luz. Christian B is now remanded in custody in Germany, charging connection with that case. He's also in prison for other crimes, including child sex abuse. Locals here are questioning why Portuguese police hadn't picked up this man with an extensive criminal past before that. In the years after Madeleine McCann's disappearance, Christian B is said to have moved several times between Germany and Portugal. In 2015, he owned this rundown property in the east of Germany. It's emerged today that he's previously been investigated there over the disappearance of this five-year-old German girl named Inga, who went missing from a family party. That investigation has now been reopened. The search for Madeleine McCann has been unprecedented in size and scale, costing more than £11 million, with numerous suspects that have since been discounted. This seaside village is synonymous worldwide with this unsolved, shocking case, one that's now reliant on a public appeal for help if there's to be a breakthrough. Gavin Lee, BBC News, Praia de Luz. So, why did it take so long? And why now, I hear you asking? Well, let's get into this. Over the last two days, new details have emerged about a man who lived in the Portuguese area between 1995 and 2007. Had vehicles seen nearby on the night of McCann's disappearance and had a history of breaking into hotels and committing criminal offences to supply his lifestyle. He is reported to be currently be in prison for raping a 72-year-old woman in Portugal in 2005 and has previous convictions for sexual contact with girls. According to the German media outlet Der Spiegel, Christian Bruchner, sorry if I mispronounced that, was connected to the investigation into the disappearance of a five-year-old girl, Inge Gerthrich. The child went missing in a forest in Saxony, Eihalt, in 2015 and the police later searched a dilapidated factory facility Bruchner owned about 90 kilometres away for information. Der Spiegel reports that child porn was found as well as girls clothing even though the man had no family. Authorities also believe the man knew someone at the facility the girl had recently visited. Sky News reports this man came back into the frame in 2017 as a result of an alleged confession. I understand he was at a bar in Germany with another man around the 10th anniversary of Madeleine's disappearance. A report came on the TV about the anniversary of Madeleine's disappearance and he said something to suggest that he knew what had happened. 
he also showed a video of himself raping a woman. Video of the rape led to an investigation that last year meant he was convicted of the rape of a tourist on the Algrave in around 2005. That's what brought him back into the frame. A British nanny says that this is the man they saw near the apartment, as she told the Daily Mirror in Daily Mail. The nanny told the Daily Mirror, I was shown identikits the day after they took my statement about her time with Madeline. I recognised a few people from just being about. One guy I recognised was a known paedophile who later committed suicide. I am aware of Bruckner's name and face from photos I was shown, but I don't think I remember having seen him in real life. Now remember that. I'm aware police knew of guys like this in Prada de Lutz at the time. It comes as numerous witness statements given to the police investigating Madeline's disappearance appear to describe a man who looked similar to the prime suspect, Christian Bruchner. When shown a picture of the paedophile, one British woman who was questioned by the detectives at the time of the abduction told the son, that's the man I saw. So why wasn't all this looked into at the time? It's been a while. Both the Portuguese and the British police had his name on file. He was a suspect that they did both look into, but they couldn't find any evidence at all that would match him with Madeline's case. Portuguese detectives who probed the disappearance of Madeline McCann have been left facing tough questions after emerged they identified the German paedophile who is now the chief suspect in 2007 but discarded him. Concalo Amaral, the man who led the investigation, confirmed in April last year that a German paedophile country in jail in Germany, now named Estien Bruchner, was identified 13 years ago as a potential suspect. But Amaral, who was sacked after naming Kate and Jerry as suspects in the disappearance and maintains that they are responsible, said Bruckner was discarded after detectives found nothing to suggest he took Madeline. Now, if you've been watching the rest of my videos on the series, you'll know that I have like nothing but admiration for the Portuguese police. I do believe they exhausted everything that they possibly could do in the investigation to find out what happened. And what they came to the conclusion is what happened. And that was that it was Kate and Jerry. He was then brought to the attention of Amaral as he investigated Madeline's disappearance in 2007, but was dismissed as a scapegoat. Speaking to Australian podcast Madeline in April last year, Amaral predicted that the British police are probably going to use a German paedophile who is in jail in Germany as the chief suspect. He said that the Portuguese Policia Jurisdictia investigated him at the time but found nothing to suggest he took Madeline. Amaral suggested the British police had been working up cases against two German paedophiles, one of whom died a few years ago, leaving one suspect to pursue. In the interview, he accused British detectives of wanting it to be the now dead paedophile. Prosecutors in Germany believe Madeleine McCann is dead hours after UK police identified a prime suspect in the disappearance of the toddler in Portugal 13 years ago. German prosecutor Hans Christian Walters has confirmed the worst fears. The public prosecutor's office in Braunschweig is investigating a 43-year-old German national on suspicion of murder in connection with the disappearance of three-year-old Madeleine Beth McCann on May the 3rd, 2007 in an apartment complex in Praia de Luz in Portugal. From this, you can see that we assume that the girl is dead. Well, my opinion on the matter is, I think Amorel was totally correct, and I think the parents should still be looked into. This information has been sitting there for years, and it's just come out now. 
Um, and it was looked into at the time. Uh, I don't know. I think Amaral's correct. Um, there's one thing for certain, though. That little girl's face has been plastered all over the internet um, ever since it happened. And she's never been found. There's been nothing. Um, whatever, that poor soul is definitely not walking the earth anymore. That's all I'll say. But I do think Amaral's correct. I think it's all a scapegoat. They're all using it just so basically if, if it comes down to it, it's going to be the story that lets the parents off scot-free. Anyway, that's my opinion. Leave your comments down in the bottom below. I'll speak to you soon. See you later.